Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit because without me, you can do nothing. The major theme in today's gospel from John 15 is Jesus saying, remain in me as I remain in you. And so I'd like to just read to you verse 1 from chapter 15, which reads, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does, he prunes so that it may bear even more fruit. That's what you and I desire. We desire to bear much fruit. But how are we going to do that? And by the way, how fruitful have you been lately? Are you satisfied with your level of fruitfulness? Well, I'd like to suggest that we all could benefit greatly by meditating on John chapter 15, particularly verses 1 through 8, which we have today in today's gospel. For in verse 4, Jesus says, Remain in me as I remain in you. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. And isn't that true? Without Jesus, you and I just spin our wheels. Without Jesus, we come up with ideas and we start to implement them, but they fall short. But if we remain in Jesus and allow him to remain in us, then we're able to hear Jesus. and We're able to do what he wants us to do. I'd like to share you, with you a story about a recently canonized saint named St. Alphonsine. And she entered a, a religious order when she was 14 called the Daughters of St. Joseph. But when she was 31, she was praying the 10th mystery of the rosary, which is the crucifixion of Jesus. And she was totally surrendering herself to Jesus through Mary when suddenly she felt a very powerful love fill her heart. And it was the love of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And then a bright light. She saw a bright light. And in that light, she saw Our Lady. Well, Our Lady over a period of a couple of years, appeared, appeared to her 10 times. And particularly on the fourth apparition, a year later, the Virgin Mary said, I want you to found the congregation of the Rosary for the people of Jerusalem and Palestine. Well, St. Alphonsine, being very humble, she, she protests. She says, oh, I'm a, I'm a big sinner. Don't you know how many sins I commit, Blessed Mother? Uh, couldn't you have somebody else do this? Uh, why don't you have my sister, who's also a religious sister, do this, and I'll be the prayer warrior behind her. And so Our Lady accepted this uh, offer of St. Alphonsine. And so really, St. Alphonsine was the heart of the order because she was the one that had the heart, deep heart of prayer. And many, many young women of Jerusalem and Palestine entered this order. They learned how to e enter even more deeply into the mystery of the life of Christ through praying the rosary. They became great servants of light, servants of joy, servants of Our Lady, all at the service of her Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So let us ask St. Alphonsine to pray for each one of us that we can remain in Jesus as he remains in us and that we may go forth and bear much fruit because it will be Jesus leading the way. Ave Maria. Thank you.